I work out to fight mediocrity. When I was in college, after my lectures, I lay down on my bed and thought about my life. Why was I in college? I wanted to become an engineer. Initially, the homework assignments were manageable. I finished some of them and handed them in return for a grade or GPA. That's nice. So if I did my homework, I'd graduate and become an engineer. I wanted to be valuable to the world. But I wasn't satisfied with solving equations handed out to me. I'd complete my assignment, hand it in and get a grade back. But it meant nothing to me. It was just a number. I was more than that. I'd go to career fairs, and tell them my grades. The recruiters would ask me a question that messed with me, what else can you do? What else can I do? I could follow instructions, and be obedient. I could write notes. I could rewrite notes. I could read fat books. I could submit papers before deadlines. That's all I could do now, and I realized that's all I would be able to do once I graduated. So I was following instructions now, in order to continue following instructions. I would not be capable of original and creative thought with the system I was in. Damn. I was angry. I was frustrated. I was not becoming a better person by doing my assignments. I was simply regurgitating information, like a honeypot ant. I was not learning about innovation. I was not learning about solving new problems, I was merely copying other people's solutions. And at the end of it, employers were not impressed with my decent grade, the one thing that universities seem to prize more than anything. So what was important? Experience. Aha. A chance to fight mediocrity. I wanted to do research projects to gain this experience, but I was rejected frequently due to inexperience. I had all this excess energy, this deep urge to do something meaningful, but I was actually being told not to. And that really got me even more frustrated. So Rocky made me keep moving forward smiley face. That's when I hit the gym one day and explored what I could do there. And I could see students and professors exercising next to each other. Here they were equals, and only one thing got you to success. Working hard. No sucking up, no specials contacts, just show up and do the work. For the first time, I saw firsthand what work ethic looked like, and could see the results of this hard work, rather than get handed a grade that didn't mean anything to me. And that's when I started making a habit out of working out. I am by no means a bodybuilder or an athlete. My aim in the gym was to challenge my own capabilities, optimize my heart rate, and get the dopamine rush I craved to start my day off on an energetic note. I woke up every day, starting with sprints and push-ups in the morning, eventually moving on to occasional deadlifts and pull-ups. It's been a year since I started, and I have been so regular, that when I injured my back, I didn't do enough stretching, and had to rest, my muscles started twitching uncontrollably after a week of absolutely no exercise. Why did I keep going? Because I could finally feel myself becoming a better person. Even though I was training my brain in college, I could not necessarily see or feel the changes to my neurons. But here I could feel pain, and then see results. Exercise has by far been the best thing I have ever committed to doing. It taught me about work ethic, patience and persistence. It taught me be accountable for my own life choices. And it gave me hope. There is more to life than a job or money. I can challenge myself every day, even on days where everything else is moving slower or even stagnating. I could fight mediocrity. That is powerful to me.